What a laborious, painstaking way of doing this. I hope this has helped some of you. Or at the very least, I hope it has helped you realise that I why I lose so much. Am I doing it wrong? Am I doing it right? Have I blown your minds with this amazing way of doing it? Or are you just interested in how I got Battlescribe on the computer? Whatever your interest in this video is, leave a comment, leave a like, smash subscribe, smash the patriarchy, I don't know. Hello everybody, welcome to Glass Half Dead, and recently I've been seeing people say that they don't quite know how to create a command roster. So I thought I'd show you how I go about creating my command rosters. So, the first thing you're going to need is your kill team rulebook and your commander's rulebook, but that's not necessary for your first command roster at least. Then you're going to need some sort of way in which you can uh, write down your command roster or your kill team. Some crazy people do use pen and paper, but it's far more common to use something like Battle Scribe. There we go. Now, I'm going to be using Battlescribe, but you can also try Kill Team Manager, or you can try Missing Legs Excel Spreadsheet, which is great, or you can try the official Games Workshop Kill Team app. But it's not an app, it's a web page thing that's kind of broken, but it does work, technically. Also, you're going to need a little bit of inspiration. Now, perhaps your inspiration will be to win a tournament or to beat your friend's list because he always wins against you. Or maybe you have a cool narrative idea. Now I know that my channel tends to always focus on rules and uh, winning generally and ignores, very specifically ignores, narrative missions. But actually, odd as it might sound, when I come to creating lists and which team I want to play next, it's all about the narrative for me. If I can't get a cool story into my head about why that team's there, what they're doing, who's the leader, all of that kind of stuff, I'm just not interested actually. And with that said, right now I have a cool idea for a Tyranid list. So that's what I'm going to be creating as my example for you guys to watch. Now let's head over to the computer so we can do this properly. And here we are with Battlescribe on the computer. How do I do this? Techno, wizardry, sorcery, and of course, heresy against the corpse emperor. Now, when creating my kill team, the first, th so I always have an idea in mind. And with the Tyranids, I have a single list in mind, and that's how I'm going to start all of this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in a single list. So, not a commander, but a leader. So, in this particular team, I want uh, the leader to be a gene stealer. Okay, there you go. And then specialists. Haven't really thought it through, but I suspect a gunner because they're awesome. And a warrior for comms to help my gunner. And that's all. I'm not sure about the third specialist. So we'll just go with them for now. Uh, and we're going to put. Uh, well, bone swords, obviously, obs on there, but also, uh, where is it, flesh hooks, he's going to be a heavy, because, uh, so the reason, FYI, uh, I, I want to make him a heavy isn't so much for the, the heavy's passive ability, that's the word, it, their level 1 passive ability, it's for the level 1 uh, tactic, which gives plus 1 for what for one command point gives plus one shot to any weapon that has more than a single shot, uh, which with a venom cannon for four points, it's very nice. Now you will notice here that, that, that there are no rules here. I don't know how much that venom cannon does, but that's why don't forget we of course have our rule book next to us, and that tells us. And that FYI guys is why battle scribe is legal. And hasn't been shut down by G dubs. So we've given him everything we want. That's fine. And the warrior, he's gonna be comms. Gonna keep him with the devourer. Gonna give him bone swords. 
and flesh hooks because flesh hooks are free. Uh, yeah, that's him done. Okay, so we've got our three guys there. Now, the reason that I'm doing this list this way with a gene stealer leader, which again I know is weird, is because I've made a little conversion where the gene stealer is actually uh, like a rogue inquisitor and all the other tyranids are going to be like his brood uh, that he's converted up and like done weird stuff with. Uh, and that's kind of, that's my theme. So there we go. Everybody else doesn't really matter. Now my theme changes from I want a gene stealer to be my my number one guy to I've got my Tyranid warriors who are keeping my, my swarm intact. We need a swarm, don't we? Yeah, we do. So, tough one, tough one. I'm going to go with Termagant. So, now I'm thinking of the models that I have available to me. I have four Hormigants painted up. Not painted. <laughs> not painted. Trust me on that. My gosh. My hobby time is zero. And I don't like painting. I have four Hormigants painted. Let's go with that. And I have eight Termagants. Four with Flesh Borers. Four with Devourers. Um... For this particular list, let's. I want to try four termagants with devourers, even though clicking on this takes ages. There we go. So that puts us at 71 points, and it's plus three points for all of these to get a devourer. So we've got our gene sealer, two warriors, four termagants with devourers. Now, I actually don't have any more Termagants with Devourers modelled up. If I did, I'd just put, like, two more in and then normal Termagant, uh, or whatever my, my points fit. But I don't. I don't have them, so I'm not going to. So, uh, with that in mind, let's go ahead and put in just uh, more Termagants. But they're not going to have Devourers. One, two, three, four. Now we have exactly 99 points, and that's a single kill team made. Let's also finish up this Gene Stealer. Um, Scything Talents, because they're free. Leader, because he's a leader. Biomorph, um, I'm going to give him Acid more, I think. Yeah, because you know... Um, Whatever it is, two, three attacks at AP minus three, whatever it is. Very nice. I do like it. I do approve. And I'm going to go extended carapace. Uh, for those that don't know, that changes the Gene Stealer's invulnerable save from a five up to a four up. However, it means they can't reroll charges. On a leader, I feel that's, that's a must take. And actually, in general, I think extended carapace is pretty good uh, for Gene Stealers. Right, so, out of our potential of 20, uh, point, uh, 20 members in our command roster, we've used 11 slots. I could put more into the swarm, but I don't want to, because I haven't modelled them, I don't care that much. Up next, I'm going to add more leaders. So, what, what I'm doing at this point is I'm trying to kind of flesh out the command roster giving me as many potential lists as I can get. Uh, with only two warriors, no lictors, a single gene stealer, we don't really have enough there to kind of dig in yet. But we, we've got the core, we've got the core, and we've got a list that I would enjoy running, and that's great. However, let's go leaders. So we do a warrior, and we do a lictor. The Lictor uh, doesn't have anything, war gear wise. The Warrior does. Now, Warriors do have the ability to take a Death Spitter, which is pretty nice. Strength 5, AP minus 1. Nothing to sniff at. However, I'm not going to, at, at the very least with the Leader, just because that would make him too tasty of a target, I feel. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so that's my leaders. Now when it comes to specialists, what have we got? We've got a heavy venom cannon. That's a staple of a list there. And we've got... Oh, I didn't actually mark this guy's comms. Let's do that. And again, comms, solid. Solid dude. No problems there. However, I feel like Tyranid Warriors, although they do have pretty decent guns and acceptable ballistic skill, their combat, they are all about the close combat. So, let's add in another warrior as a combat specialist. Uh, here we go. Keeping with the Devourer, that's not what he, you know, he's not there to be doing anything crazy. Uh, flesh hooks, obviously. And bone swords. Oh, okay. Good stuff. Now, straight away, this gives me another list. This gives me an all warrior list of Tyranid Warrior Leader, Tyranid Warrior. Uh, comms, Tyranid Warrior Combat, Tyranid Warrior Gunner, Venom Cannon, and that would leave me with 16 points left over. So that could be three termagants, maybe? Three standard uh, flesh borers, or potentially uh, one termagant with the devourer, and then one termagant with a flesh borer. That's an, that, okay, so we've got a second list in there. We also have a Lictor Leader. However, also, I only have Tyranid Warriors as specialists. How do we feel about that? What if we don't want to take any warriors? Hold on, hold on. How many, how many slots have we filled? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14. So, we potentially have six slots left. However, I'm actually only going to use 18 slots purely because I want the ability to put in a commander. Both of the commanders, a Broodlord and a Tyranid Prime, just in case. But I'm going to leave them to last and I'm not going to do them in this video uh, just because perhaps not everybody's as into commanders as I am. So we've got four spaces left. What are we going to put? Okay, so I'm thinking non-specialists. We're going to want another Lictor. Maybe we want to run a, a dual Lictor list. And then a genes, uh, another warrior. Well, maybe we don't need a warrior, actually. Hmm. So, okay, so this is where things get a little bit confusing, uh, in a sense. Because I might not want to run 64 points in every single list, right? I might, I might want to go light on this so that I can take double lictors, maybe. Which means I'm not going to take all Tyranid Warriors, which then means if I take this Lictor here, I'm actually missing out on a Specialist slot. So does that mean I put this Lictor as a Specialist? Maybe. But then, if I do that, I, he's going to be combat, let's be honest. That means I can't take this Tyranid Warrior whenever I take this Lictor. Maybe that's never an issue. However, frankly, a, a combat Tyranid Warrior backing up uh, a lictor would be very nice. So this is where you have to start weighing options up and deciding how you really want to lay things out. Obviously, you could play it safe and put everything as a non-specialist. However, that's a bit... Eh. I don't know. I don't know about that. I mean, specialists are great. You know, combat plus one attack. So anyway, this Tyranid Warrior here... We're just going to kit up because he's, he's kind of a safe bet. If we ever want to not take a specialist warrior, we can take him instead. However, to make that relevant, we need to add in um, another specialist. So let's do a gene stealer. Gene stealer's powerful. I think a combat gene stealer. 
would go down very well. More like a meme stealer, am I right? Uh, like I said, I always do extended carapace, scything talons at free, no reason not to. Specialism, he's going to be combat. I know that some people prefer veteran. Um, maybe I should take veteran, just so that he doesn't overlap with the combat. Huh. With the combat warrior. Well, that's a tough one, actually. Hmm. Hadn't. Well, I hadn't considered that, guys. But then maybe a veteran. A veteran warrior. He'd like to be in combat first turn. But then that's why we have lictors. You know what? Let. <laughs> I could be here for hours. Let's just uh, move this along. So that's two more. So we've got. We've only got two more slots. We've only got two more slots. Uh, we've got two lictors. I'm not. I'm. I don't think I'm ever going to run a four lictor list. So that's fine. I don't need a third lictor. I think. Okay, so I've got one more slot, and I guess I will put in another gene sealer just as a normal non-specialist. There you go. Boom. And we'll kit him out very quickly. No biomorph, because uh, the, the other two have biomorphs, and you can't double up on those. Extended carapace always. Cool. Okay, so that's 18 models. Now, with that done, there's another phase. So I've got that core list that I want to create, right? Which is uh, a, a gene stealer, leader, two warriors, uh, the comms and the uh, the heavy, and then eight termagants. And I think that was it, maybe. Uh, that's great. There you go. I'm done. However, now let's have a look at what else, what other lists we could possibly take here. So, there's the All Warrior list, which is this guy here for 20, 40, 60, 84, giving us 16 points left. So that could be, let's say, oh, now you see... Just there, we got to the point where we couldn't take this gene seeder, but luckily, we had one as a non-specialist. which That would be 11 points, leaving us just enough points uh, to get a Termagant with Flesh Borer. That's not a bad list. Four Warriors, a gene stealer, and a Termagant, Flesh Borer. Pretty good. Uh, now, obviously, we've got two Lictors in there. So we could go double Lictor list, taking us to 50 points. Uh, maybe the Gene Stealer at 11, the other Gene Stealer at 11, take us to 72, and then just fill it out actually with uh, Devourer Termagants. So that's three viable lists, I think. Or, of course, you know, you can mix it up. Maybe you want two Lictors and a Swarm, although that's not a great idea because then you don't have any Synapse. Or you want two Lictors two warriors and termagant i i think that is actually what i've just created there which i should probably take a little bit more time and actually think about you know actually put some lists together and see what what would be oh dear and see what would really be be best to have in specialist and in non-specialist you know am i ever actually if I'm only ever actually taking that Tyranid Warrior with combat in a single list, then maybe he could be swapped out and get uh, a Termagant with Veteran or something. If, if there's always a free spot for a specialist in my list. You know, small little tweaks like that. But there you go. That is my 18-man command roster. Again, saving two left for my commanders if I ever want to take them. Which gives me a huge variety, um, both in the leader I want to take, the specialist, the, the, I can't speak today, the specialists I want to take, and I can run all big bugs, I can run a mini swarm, that's the only downside to this of course, I cannot run 
a big a big a, a swarm list i cannot go full swarm because a full swarm is what is it um one warrior and 15 termigants or hormigants which of course takes up 16 slots on your command roster and if you do that then that's the only list you can take i'm not a huge fan of that uh don't get me wrong i might run that list once just to see how it performs because that's a lot of models oh my gosh but for me personally a 16 man team well no I, i'll totally run it just to see how it how it performs and i suspect it will actually do relatively okay but i think this is a good command roster what we've got here there you go everybody this is how me glass half dead which is i how i glass half dead create a command roster i take my core idea for a single kill team i put that into my app and from there i go ahead and just flesh it out i hope this has helped some of you or at the very least i hope it has helped you realize that i why i lose so much yeah this would be the reason uh, my bad. But guys, am I doing it completely wrong? Are you all sat there looking at the screen like, Glass, what the hell are you doing? That's not how you do it. You do it this way. You let me know, as I'm genuinely interested. Am I... I mean, I've, I've never thought about it. I've just thought, oh yeah, well you just throw a, you just throw a kill team in, and then you just keep adding models till you hit, hit the cap, don't you? Maybe I'm doing it wrong. And of course, it can be quite different for different factions. For example, Grey Knights. That is a very different command roster you're going to build there. Because obviously you have a lot less choices. You have um, less flex... No, you have more flexibility in your lists. Because a, a single silencer is probably going to end up in all of your lists. And he will work as a valid choice in every list you create. That, you know, that kind of thing. Anyway, uh, how do you guys do it? I'm interested to know. Am I doing it wrong? Am I doing it right? Have I blown your minds with this amazing way of doing it? Or are you just interested in how I got Battlescribe on the computer? Whatever your interest in this video is, leave a comment, leave a like, smash subscribe, smash the patriarchy, I don't know, and... Um, Glass off dead, logging out. Have a great day, everybody.